Greenhouse Effect and Global Warming The greenhouse is a house made of glass primarily found in Arctic regions. The people in those regions use greenhouses to grow plants. When the sun's radiation enters the greenhouse, the heat gets locked, and the air remains warm. The same happens with our Earth. During the daytime, the sun heats the planet's atmosphere, and at night the heat gets back into the atmosphere. During this process, the heat gets trapped by the greenhouse gases present in the atmosphere and makes the surface of the Earth warmer. Due to the increased use of greenhouse gases, the planet's temperature is consistently growing. Global warming denotes the constant increase in temperature near the Earth's surface over the past two centuries. The man-made causes of global warming are deforestation, excessive use of petrochemicals, use of CFC, chlorofluorocarbon, rapid industrial development, and CO2 produced through various agricultural activities. The natural causes of global warming are volcanoes, forest blazes, etc. The CFC causes ozone layer depletion, which increases the heat in the earth, and causes climate change. There are various adverse effects of global warming. Some of them are discussed below. Rise in temperature. Global warming is responsible for increasing temperature exponentially, which makes us suffer from excessive heat. Climate change. Global warming has led to a global climatic imbalance. There are frequent floods and dough in many places. Loss of biodiversity refers to the fact that the number of species and the variety of species and the biological communities in a given area is declining rapidly, leading to the breakdown of the ecosystem. The disadvantages include water shortage, rising sea level, higher death rates, higher health risks, etc. Global warming is a matter of concern worldwide, and we should try to prevent it by some of the mentioned methods. 1. We should plant more and more trees. 2. We should reduce the use of petrochemicals. 3. We should be careful about using sustainable energies. 4. We should increase the use of solar and wind energy. 5. We should protect the forest and avoid deforestation. These all are potent ways to reduce greenhouse gases and protect nature on Earth. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to get great content.